Sure. That's lifting it up. All right, cool. So, a lot of shit in the book. Yeah. You ain't got nothing to worry about, dude. There's probably, oh, I don't know, four to six armed bailiffs that are going to be here, bro. Should be pretty safe. Although I don't know, one of the bailiffs did have to kill a tenant. Like I think it was like six months ago. Got a full house today. Oh wow, it is nice and tight. Oh, yeah? You know the bailiffs are getting in right now. This place is full. 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 You know what, and everything light, I'm gonna let you stay. Anthony, I threw that gray thing back up because it's empty. You can put some stuff in there. Okay. Uh, we're Holton Wise TV. We're with those guys, the entire crew. We're, we're getting the entire thing documented. Lift it just a little so the slide, Rich. Man, look at those two dudes right there, bro. You can tell those guys do this all day, man. Those dudes are jacked up. Sorry, can you imagine coming home from your drug dealer's house? <laughs> wow, that, yourself, that is a more accurate uh, depiction of what we're doing. As that's, soon as I told her, we're, hey, we're removed, we're evicting those people, she's like, oh, oh, that's fine, you can stay. Yeah, they crush the pace that they're moving. It's, oh, it's, it's insane. Nice. It's nice. All right, it's about 10.27 in the morning. And we are on our way to meet the eviction crew uh, for a scheduled eviction. Safety first, of course. They are set to evict these tenants uh, at exactly 10.30. So uh, us here, we're running slightly late, so we'll probably arrive uh, as things get underway. Uh, this one... This one might be, there might be some fireworks with this one. You see, not every eviction is going to have a bunch of fireworks because some evictions, the people are already gone. Like, you have to understand the time process that it takes to actually uh, complete an eviction, right? So, as I talked to everybody today, it's, uh, what is it, like, it's October 5th, October 6th? Turn left, what is it? Powers Boulevard, October 6th. then take the second right. All right, so it's October 6th right now. The last time that this tenant paid rent was May, okay? So it's October 6th, 2022. She paid her May 22 rent, so she didn't pay her June rent, right? So June, July, August, September, October, right? So that's five months ago this process started, right? She didn't pay rent in June. Uh, we filed for the eviction in June. And uh, ever since COVID, man, like the court system, evictions and everything just have been extremely slow. Like there are some like cities and, and you know, markets and neighborhoods and like, you know, you got stuff like New York, California, New Jersey, right? Where evicted people is always taking forever, right? But uh, here in Ohio, it used to be fairly quick, right? It's usually like six weeks um, after the tenant didn't pay rent, you could boot them, right? You, you get to today, where we're at today, what we're doing right now. Uh, but now, you know, it's definitely slower, right? So filed the eviction in June, did not get a court date till, till late August, right? It was like August 25th, 26th, 27th, somewhere in there. Uh, we won the eviction, right? Uh, which is August, right? But you don't, like, you go to court, you don't actually just, like, get to kick them out the day you go to court, right? You get what's called a writ of restitution, which means you're able to, you know, take back the property, and then you're given a scheduled date uh, to actually evict that tenant, right? So that is today, right? October 6th. So uh, the tenant, right, has technically known since uh, June they're getting evicted, right? So June, July, August, September, October. So they've known for five months this day's coming. Uh, but they've actually known about the actual date uh, that they lost their eviction and everything since uh, late August, right? So what typically happens is when you get to these evictions, the tenant, uh, they've typically moved out like a day or two before and you don't get like the full-fledged like chaos eviction where you know we have the entire crew throwing literally uh everything they own on the tree lawn uh so it's probably going to be a 50 50 shot right now 
uh, that we're going to see like a full-fledged, full house emptying out eviction, right? Because I say 50-50, actually, because the odds of that happening are, are probably less than 10%. I would say probably more on like the 3 to 5% range. Uh, but in this particular case, I say 50-50 because uh, the tenant had actually reached out to Holton Wise uh, two days ago. Uh, asking Holton Wise to give to give her more time uh, of actually throwing out her stuff. Now, Holton Wise, we have a zero tolerance policy, though. So the answer to that question was, fuck no. Uh, so her stuff is going to be out by the end of today. Whether or not she did it uh, in the middle of the night last night, uh, or my crew and the bailiffs are just about to start doing that right now, we're gonna find out here in a couple moments. There's a big bug. Oh, it's a bee. Is there a bee in the car? No, it's right up here. I'm gonna flick it. Oh, dude, that thing's huge! <laughs> close it, close it! You're going open! I'm afraid I'm gonna flick it. It's gonna go up and back in the car. Dude, that's a monster, bro! That thing's gonna fuck up the whole eviction. Dude, dog. that's gonna go fly back. The wind, dude. <laughs> it's done. And the wind sucks down. Did you guys get the bee event on camera? Uh, it was pretty blurry. I seen the bee though. All right, that, this is like this is like Steve Irwin stuff, dude. There, you never know what you're gonna face when you're doing evictions, bro. Crocky. Some, sometimes it's horrible deadbeat tenants not paying their rent. Sometimes it's a freaking bee from the goddamn Serengeti. It's out of control. The good thing about sitting in, in sitting in the back is that I can duck and cover if people start shooting at us. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna shoot at us, bro. There are so many guns on the friendly side of this evasion. I can hit the duck. You ain't got nothing to worry about, dude. There's probably, oh, I don't know, four to six armed bailiffs that are gonna be here, bro. There ain't. This is probably the safest moment you could deal with, I would say. Like, well, we should be pretty safe, although I don't know. One of the bailiffs did have to kill a tenant, like, I think it was like six months ago out here, so. It could go ugly, but I wouldn't be too, too worried. We got we got protection, they're protected. We'll kind of let the guys do their thing. Shouldn't, shouldn't be nothing to really worry about. All right, we're about to pull up on the eviction here momentarily. There it is to my right, right there. There's the guys, looking good. We've got a full house today. Oh wow, it is nice and tight. Housing guy right there next to me on my left. What we got going on here? Got another housing bailiff right there. Alright. We're gonna swing around so we can probably grab a parking spot on the other side of the street. Brick roads it is uh, way too congested right right there so we'll try to get us a nice little vantage point so you guys at home can actually see what's going on now my whole crew the actual eviction crew uh, we got those guys cameraed up as well so you know we'll be able to see footage from inside the car outside the car uh, we've got another guy in the back of the car so you guys are gonna really kind of get a nice take on everything so try to get us a nice spot out of the way, uh, not messing with everyone else. So we can kind of narrate this for y'all, let y'all get an idea of what it is you're actually watching. Yeah, this is tight. I mean, quite honestly, I'd be very... I was trying to find a good spot to, to park and give a narration, but there ain't no street. We got a full house or what? I yeah. don't know the bailiffs are getting in right now. We're probably pulling that driveway for a second block. Yeah, I was thinking of that. Lost up. Big unit lost up. Nobody, nobody home? Nobody home. The downstairs tenant is home. She said they haven't been around in weeks. We okay. asked her about common areas like basement and garage. Okay, so listen. These keys worked the storm door and the upstairs door. Okay. Oh, this sure. one didn't was, work anything. Yeah. I'm sniffing it up. All right, cool. So, a lot of shit in the book. Yeah. 
Vince, do you wanna you wanna walk through and Yeah, you can take pictures if you want, I'll get my iPad if I mean I'm filming but yeah. Up, right? Yeah. Straight across. Um, they could there, probably pull in the driveway. And third floor unit. We might, after we get it cleared, we try to hang back until we until everything's make cleared sure up. Safe and safe okay. Yeah. So we'll go to the back, and there's going to be a door far back on the right. You go up some steps, and it'll be everything upstairs. So Second both levels. Floor. Yeah. Do we know if anyone's still around here? Haven't seen anybody, so it's probably empty. No cars in the drive. No. I, I was telling him every time I've been here, I've never even seen like someone here. So. It's hopefully 50-50 that they just haven't lived here. Yeah, that's you could try. <laughs> this is where we're gonna be. We're just gonna chill in this driveway right here. Hopefully this guy doesn't come out and freak out. But I guess if he does, I mean that's just something we're gonna have to deal with. We're just we're just borrowing this driveway. I got a little bit of cash in my wallet, so if he gets pissed enough, we'll offer him a couple bucks to go away. And that's how we're gonna do it. <clears throat> Gary, you getting the door count? <laughs> That's, I think, specifically for the, the down unit. Yeah. So we should just be looking there. This down specific one too, looks like? Oh, yeah, I believe so. Let's see. Damn, dude, they do have a lot of shit up here. Ah, yeah. We're with the uh, Old Wise TV and the eviction crew, and we're documenting an eviction. Is it all right if we just stay here for about 15 minutes? Oh, yeah. Next door? Uh, it's actually that house right across the street. Uh, we're Holden Wise TV. We're with those guys, the entire crew. We're, we're getting the entire thing documented. And uh, there isn't anywhere else to park, so if uh, you guys need to move, I'll be right here in the driver's side. I could get out of your way. Oh, perfectly. We'll be totally out of your way, but as soon as I see you coming out, just give me a wave and I'll get right out of your way, if that's okay with you. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Take You too. place is full. Full? Full. Good. I got two hours in this lady's parking lot, or in this lady's driveway. Two hours? She said she, said she don't have to leave for two hours, and she's happy to have us uh, document the eviction. I guess this tenant right here, I mean, I've, I don't know if you're aware, but... You know, she's causing a fucking ruckus in the whole neighborhood, parties, nonstop. So as soon as I told her, hey, we're removing, we're evicting those people, she's like, oh, oh, that's fine, you can stay. I don't have to wait for two hours. Yeah. So Two I, hours, though, that might not even cover all the, the move out. There, this thing's jam-packed full stuff. Oh, that's okay. We'll just loop around again. She just has to go to work in two hours. We're good. We got this driveway all day. I, I think they see us removing that piece of shit, and uh, they're quite happy. Which, why we got a little downtime before we get into the action, I just like you guys to be aware that this is Vince, the man that you guys see in a lot of the Tennis from Hell videos. He pretty much runs the field operations here at Holton Wise. Also has what I would venture to say is the nicest mustache in the entire company. That's, uh, that's what I like to see. You know, here at Holton Wise, we really value quality facial hair. You know, we think that's important. That's that one, is true. It's one of the first things we look for. Yeah, well, we almost fired Derek if he didn't uh, grow out his beard, so... As we fucking should, man. Dude, I'll be honest with you, for like the first 20 minutes, I thought it was that house, because that's also our house. Yeah, no, <laughs> there's just no parking, so we decided to yeah. stack up in front of there. We probably scared the hell out of those people. They're like, why is there so much Oh, yeah, dude, can you, can you imagine that? Because that house is actually our house, too, and I got confused on which one we were evicting today. Uh, I'm not as involved in the day-to-day -day operations. Uh, that would be... Our man Vince here with the beautiful mustache. He runs that for us. Me staging stuff. I always forget you guys stage everything before it goes down. So I was like yeah, waiting for someone to come around the corner with stuff, and I was like, that's what we do. We pass, Oh, I don't think they're coming. Stay, so we do all that walking. Uh, no, hey, you're good. Walking. Takes less time. 
It's smarter. Work smarter, not harder, right? Yeah. And it costs you all less. We well, that's fair. Up and down, up and down. And it takes all day. Yeah. That's more money, yeah. Stack a little, go down. Patch a little, go down. It's a good strategy. Pack it all, then go down. If I'm in the way, you can just boot me wherever you need to get out of the way. Yeah. I think these empty bags are it. Bring me that. Can you imagine just coming home from work and half your stuff is just on the front lawn? Have you not been paying attention to the video that you're currently filming? I just got done saying they've known about this for a long time. True. Also, they ain't fucking coming home from work. <laughs> Sorry, can you imagine coming home from your drug dealer's house? <laughs> wow, that, your stuff's that is a more accurate uh, depiction of what we're doing. <laughs> I left you a little pathway, so. Oh, thank you. Don't feel as though you walked in for hours. Yeah. All right. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna sneak by and. Oh. Um, I think once we stage in this hallway, then we can push down because we're kind of full in the kitchen. Long, long little afternoon for you guys. Oh, it's the only one. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh wow, because they were, yeah. They might have more, but yeah, this is, he said they had the seven for the city. I'm surprised they only got one. Yeah. Because usually we have a majority in there. Oh, well, we got a bag? We pushing? Okay. Yeah, because I just left a little walkway with it. You know what, and everything light, I'm gonna let you stay and pass to me. Okay. Okay. Richard, you can go on down. And then I'm gonna eat halfway. Isn't that way you can bring stuff from the neck back there too and you won't have to stop pushing? Okay. We'll see. Yeah, I already got so much done. Maybe somebody complaining. What the hell is this guy? I hope you guys can see that. What the hell was that all about? I feel like I just caught the tail end of that. Other guys probably got it though. Clear this room out quick. Oh, empty. Yeah. 
There's a better look at that stain. It's a burn hole. Shoot. Stay out the way. <clears throat> Left a damn TV. Shoot. that gray thing back up because it's empty you can put some stuff in there okay
took a little bit of time, but now we are into the magic. Uh, we got uh, the movers starting to actually get some of the items moved on to the lawn. And uh, this is what happens when you steal from your landlord. Stuff right here, stuff. Oh, we, got, huh? we got a lot of stuff right here we got to get first. Yeah, I was just taking one person. Oh. I'm just gonna fill up the whole lawn with this, with everything that's in there. Yeah. Shit. Left everything. Those two dudes right there, bro. You can tell those guys do this all day, man. Those dudes are jacked up. Now, if anybody's uh, curious to know the dynamic of, of what we have going on over there, there's there's three groups uh, of people here making this eviction happen, right? There's three groups of people delivering you guys the magic, right? What we have is you got all of the actual Holton Wise employees, right? So myself, the two guys in my car right now filming me, Steve and Tom, and then we got that guy right there with the camera, that's Matt, and then you guys saw Vince, we were talking to Vince earlier, and then we had Gary here, okay? Those are all Holton Wise employees. Uh, Vince and Gary are gonna be changing the locks uh, when we're done here, and they were able to provide access uh, for the bailiffs and the moving crew. That is the other two groups of people, right? So like the guy handling the couches and all that stuff, all those guys that are not wearing the Holton Wise uh, branded attire, like that guy right there, you know, carrying the big ass mattress, right? These uh, dudes that are, you know, pretty muscled up from moving all day, those are a separate company that works for Holton Wise that handles move outs. The way move outs work is the actual landlord itself, right? So Holton Wise, uh, believe it or not, by Cleveland law, we are actually not physically allowed to touch any of the tenant's belongings. Uh, so like if I, for some reason, wanted to hop out of this truck right now and go carry a couch out of the, the house and put it on the front lawn, I don't, <laughs> but like if I wanted to, uh, I actually would not legally be allowed to. Just like any of my other guys you see over there with the branded attire, they're not actually allowed to do that either. You have to hire a third party uh, arm's length company uh, that has previously been approved by the city of Cleveland. Uh, you know, the city of Cleveland, the housing court, they give you like a whole list uh, of these companies and you choose choose uh, which one of those you'd like to work with. In Holton Wise, we've actually been working with the same company for about 10 years now. They've always done very good work for us. They're diligent, uh, they're quick, they're on time. Now, don't get me wrong, a full eviction like this one, like the one we're watching right now where it is a full house, I say quick, but like this is not a quick process. This is probably a half day's work, if not a full day's work, uh, for such a large group of people. And then the last group uh, of people that are here making it happen, of course, is going to be the housing court bailiffs who we've described and talked about at length thus far in the video. Uh, these are the guys that look, act, and operate similar to that of Cleveland police officers. Does that mean it's about that time? We're almost done here? No, it's not done. <laughs> Putting this up, it's, uh, Yeah, they crush the pace that they're moving. It's, oh, it's, it's insane. Right. It's nice. So this is up. This door is upstairs. Yeah. You 
this lock right here? Yeah, we'll change the, well, we'll take that handle off and change the deadbolt, and then we'll change the deadbolt upstairs, too. Mm -hmm. Rich, you gotta take that all the way down, it's too heavy. Oh, I meant upstairs. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it's a, hey, it's a but no, you probably good. Oh, it's Cleveland. That's the city. Homies. Oh, they just came to make sure we weren't putting the stuff on the sidewalk. Uh, the tenant that lives there is a fucking piece of shit, right? Like, let's not make any qualms about this. This tenant is a fucking asshole. Now, only has this tenant not paid rent um, since June, right? So I already went over that at length, right? June, July, August, September, October. But on top of that, uh, we get nothing but complaints uh, from the rest of the neighbors and the neighbor that actually lives in there. Apparently, obviously it's not going to bother this lady, but the tenant who uh, actually lives there like blocks the entire driveway so the other tenant can never actually get in and out. Uh, but what probably does bother this nice lady right here and the rest of the people living around here is uh, it was like one woman that we actually screened and placed into the unit, had fairly decent credit, income, stuff like that. So we wouldn't have known this, but she ended up moving in like multiple other people, right? It's one of those scenarios probably where you get the girl who's got a clean background, clean credit, stuff like that. And then uh, she moves in the dirtbag boyfriend. And I guess like they're just creating a ruckus around here. They've been just fucking terrorizing the rest of the people in the neighborhood. Constant parties, constant loud music, just constant, you know, BS that's driving everybody nuts. So, you know, that's probably why you do get a positive interaction, right? Because obviously she's like, whoa, what the hell? Why is this truck of three dudes and cameras in my my driveway right now? But as soon as I told her we're with Holton Wise TV and we're documenting the eviction at the house, she kind of got a little smile on her face. So she's probably like, hell yeah, let's... uh Let's get rid of these scumbags and that actually move in some quality people uh, so the good people of this little area right here don't have to get terrorized anymore. That's the idea. That's the goal, you know? Like, we never want to put in uh, bad people, right? You know, the goal is always to put in good people, right? When tenants, uh, you know, cause us problems, they're typically causing the rest of the neighborhood problems. And, you know, that's not... That's not what we're out to do, right? It's bad for the neighborhood. It's bad for us. It's bad for our bottom line. It's bad for our investors' bottom line. So, uh, you know, bad tenants got to go, man. I mean, that's it. That's the moral of the story. Bad tenants got to be removed. Uh, you know, we get a lot of flack from the I Love Eviction line of clothing, which, by the way, if you guys are interested in I Love Eviction t-shirts, coffee mugs, baby onesies, hoodies, mouse pads, throw pillows, there's nothing better than a nice I Love Eviction throw pillow on your love seat. Uh, you guys can go ahead and use the promo code HWTV10 and click the notes below this video to get yourself 10% off on some of that I Love Evictions merchandise. But we get the Wokies, you know, the woke left, and they're like, oh my God, how can you sell I Love Eviction merchandise? You must be the worst people in the world. I don't, how? What are you talking about? First of all, evictions only occur uh, when a tenant is being a complete piece of crap scumbag, which is like what's happening here. And as I just got done describing, not only does it uh, benefit us, right? We get the person who's stealing from us out of the house, you get the neighbors who are now happier because we can actually bring in a quality individual and not some piece of shit uh, whose only way to maintain housing is to steal it from another person and they're just causing a ruckus uh, in the neighborhood. No care about the quality of life of the neighbors or anything of that nature. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do love evictions as a matter of fact, right? Because, uh, you know, if you don't pay, you can't stay. And, uh, you know, you do the crime, you got to do the time. That's pretty much everything uh, that you guys need to know, that you guys need to see. That's about a wrap on this one, man. This is uh, this is what it looks like when you don't pay your rent, man. I 
like I said, it's unfortunate, but uh, you know, this is the business that we do. This is what we do, folks. It's a full set of prop belongings. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.